Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and thank you so much for stopping by my channel guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys. And most importantly, thank you for coming, listening and learning. <laughs> exactly, because that's what this channel is here for. To help guide Twin Flames, whether you're masculine or feminine, helping you to learn exactly what this journey is, what it entails, what it contains, what we go on with you and your Divine Masculine, and what you should learn about yourself in order to bring your connection back together. Purchase my book, guys. Are you a Twin Flame? It's right there. It will help you get through all these things. Now let's jump right into your reading, guys. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. And as a reminder, I'll be posting, I'll be posting the next video that's related on the screen so you guys can get to the videos faster and the messages that may apply to you. I usually couldn't, I'm always saying that my subscribers, they can't find the information that they need. So, yeah, I'll put it on the screen over here. So you guys can get to the information that I want you to get to. So we'll be looking at your Divine Masculine's past. And their present. And let's see what's changing with them. Lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. So this is the past. This is the past because with the Divine Masculines, they weren't stepping up. They were not stepping up at all. They weren't being the leaders that they were. They were confused. They were allowing others to lead them. Direct them where they sh should go. Where do you want me to go? I'll go over there. You do this. You do that. Manipulated. Taken advantage of. What else can you tell us about the masculine's past, please? See, set the course. Set the course. Now the divine masculines are changing. There has been a change. Now the divine masculines know where they should be headed. Know where they should be going. And oh, and by the way, this deck is the Alice in Wonderland deck. Now they have a plan. They have changed direction. They have changed course. They have changed course. Two, two, two. That's one, two, 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 right? New beginning. And you have find the lesson. So your divine masculines are definitely learning their lessons. This is in their past. They are figuring out why things worked out the way that they did in the past. Why they were in that situation that they were in. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning exactly. These masculines figured out that they were on a path, that they were in the situation that they were in so they could learn a lesson. So your divine masculines are learning. Whomever these divine masculines are, they are learning. They are learning their lessons and they are figuring out that they are learning a lesson. Such a curious dreams. Waking up, right? Waking up. Messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. So your divine masculine knows that their service has come to an end. They have done their justice, they have done their peace, they have learned their lesson. And Divine Feminine, they're going to communicate their truth to you. It's time for a brand new beginning. So things are definitely changing because their past is one of learning. 
The Divine Masculine's past is one of learning, evolving, changing. Letting people know exactly how they feel. Putting the message out there. This is how I feel. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. Standing up for themselves. Law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. So your divine masculine is already realizing that it is, it is not because something is said means that it should be done that way. It is not because the what what do you call it? the society wants things to be a way, meaning it should be that way. See, they're standing up for themselves. Standing up for themselves, not because it's law, mean it's justice. Doesn't does it? It doesn't matter that society says so. That does not make it right. And because of that uprising, that standing up for themselves, that learning the lessons, they're seeing things differently, and they're changing their locations, moving to some place else where they feel balanced, love cherished appreciated where things are right I'm, I'm seeing pregnancy so it's time for a rebirth so in your masculine's past there has been transformation and a rebirth all must have prizes, trying to please everyone. That's what happened to your masculine. In the past, they were trying to please everyone except themselves. They were trying to do society's will instead of their will, instead of God's will. But now everything is going to be for them. It's all about the Divine Masculine and their growth. They're remembering who they are. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. They're remembering that they are a loving child of God. And they're going to make their move. Because they were confused in the past. Some of these divine masculines were very much confused. Confused. They didn't know which way to go because everybody was trying to show them which way to go. Even the divine feminine too. So they were left confused. And some of these divine masculines are seeing the lessons in what they did. When they walked away from the Divine Feminine, even though the Divine Feminine was trying to show them that they belonged together, they still had a choice to make. They still couldn't just take your say-so. Because they had to figure things out for themselves. And they have learned their lesson. And they know that it's a lesson that they had to learn as to why they went back to the situations that they were leaving out of. As to why they tried to make things seem as if it wasn't the way that it was. They were unhappy, but they tried to make themselves look so happy, so joyful, so I'm living the life. But instead, they were dying inside. But they're learning to let go and love themselves, being free, standing up for themselves, pleasing themselves. And they're ready to move forward. No, wow. <laughs> Looking at their future plans. Looking at your future plans, the hermit. See these divine masculines. 
they know which way to go. They're the light that's guiding your divine masculine. Breaking away from tradition. Making plans for their path, for their future. And they don't feel lost at all. They're not feeling lost. Before they were feeling lost and confused. Now they're not feeling lost. It's like they know where they're going. They know where they're going. The Page of Pentacles. Knowing where they're going. Knowing where they're headed. And the Four of Cups. Oops. They're heading right back to this person that they could have showed themselves to, that they could have revealed themselves to, that they were happy around. This person that made them feel loved. This person they, that they could open their heart to. This person that made him feel stable. I'm hearing my, my, um, the song, um, Rich in Love. I think it's, um, who was it? I don't remember. It's not Christopher Martin. Those of you guys who, from the Caribbean, who knows? Oh, Romaine Virgo. Remain Vir Virgo. I'm rich in love, come here no papa. And the rest of it, but that's it. <laughs> so that's how they're feeling. That's how they're feeling, rich in love. Rich in love. Before they were weak and stressed out. Some of them are not even thinking about the past. Because when they think about the past, they get so tired and... It's like overwhelming. So they're leaving it behind. They're leaving it behind. It's like they're taking every part of them and they're moving forward. They're not leaving anything. Anything of theirs behind. The five of coins. Divine Feminine, they're returning to this person that they left out in the cold. They couldn't bear to be away from you before they couldn't bear to open up their heart to you. 1313. But all that is going to end. Because their future with the Divine Feminine is all about growth. Their future is all about growth. And put this over there. It's all about growth. It's about time. They're overcoming tradition. And that's one of the major things that these Divine Masculines had to break free from. Tradition. What my parents want. What my what my family members want, what the person around me wants, what I should do because of what society says, the way that people made me feel because society thinks that I should not be emotional, that I shouldn't show my true self. But these of my masculines are breaking free from all of that. And the only thing they can see in their future is them moving back towards the Divine Feminine. Going in for their Nine of Pentacles. Reaching for their goals. Reaching towards their goals. Reaching towards their happiness. Towards their abundance. Making their decision. Making their decision. 
and that decision is to turn their back towards those things that made their life so bleak. Now they're looking forward to the sun. It's like, it's like these divine masculines went on a soul searching, soul searching event, 1515. They were soul searching. And some of these divine masculines, they had dreams. They had dreams, like they were being guided into dreams. Like God was their, their guide in the dream, showing them, like every step they take, God would show them um, what happened here. What's the reason why this happened? You know, like, like the ghost of Christmas past. And, and the ghost was, was taking, was taking the guy around and showing the guy everything that the guy did and why it happened and what would have happened. So now we are at the ghost of Christmas present. What should happen in their life? What will happen? That, that's what happened here with these divine masculines. That's like what happened here with these divine masculines. They had to see their faults. They had to see the wrong that they have done. They have to see that they were meant for greater, that they deserved better, that they deserve more, that they deserve true love, that they had to break free from society, that they had to break free from connections that meant them no good jobs that meant them no good, locations that meant them no good. They had to get rid of everything that was holding them back. Yeah, to prepare for the future, page of ones, to prepare themselves to grow. Because when you're growing, when you're growing divine feminines and masculines, you cannot remain in the same place that you are. The location that you're in is not going to suit you anymore. The people that you're around, they're not going to suit you anymore because they're not vibrating at the same energy level as you are. You're elevating while they're remaining the same and that's why they keep falling away from you. They keep falling away. Every time you elevate, something falls off. Something falls away. And that's because it, it's no good for you. Where you're going, it's not gonna serve you any purpose. Those things have already done their job in your life. And now it's time to break away. So they can experience true love. These divine maskings were definitely guided by some sort of, 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 like a guardian angel. And it's like, it's like these, they thought it was like a dream, but it, it, I don't know how to explain it. They thought it was like a dream that they were having. But it wasn't a dream. It's like they, they literally got taken out of their body, their souls, and they were guided on their path by their guardian angel, showing them all the things that they have been through in their life, what this person meant to them, what part this person played in their life, how things should end, when it's going to end, how they should solve an issue and where they're headed. Where they're headed. It's like their inner child is leading them. Their inner child is leading them. And they're just going around looking at, at each, each, 
I don't know, each step that they take, it's like a section of their life kept playing and passing them by. And they're learning their lessons. And that's how they became awake. What else can you tell me about these masculines past, please? What are they going to do about their past? What's going on? What are they going to do about their past? <laughs> They're becoming smarter. They're becoming smarter. They're paying attention to the people around them. That's what they were doing. Figuring out people around them. Five, 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 guys. Look. Figuring out people around them, who they are, what part they play, just like that angel showed them. And they realize that they're evolving and growing, moving on to the next level. See, healing the fact that the inner child, that what, that's what was happening in their past. They were healing, they were learning their lessons and their future. Tell me more. Give me not one on their plans for the future. So you have receiving what you want. So see, they were definitely told what their future is going to entail. And everything that they need and desire will come to them. So they're moving on from their past. They're taking that leap of faith. They're taking that chance because things were shown to them. But again, these divine masculines, they're not going to show you divine feminine what their plans are. They're going to have that poker face on. They have overcome their past, the obstacles, the wounds that they had to clear, their challenges. And that's why they're getting what they desired. Because they have overcome their struggles, so it's a reward. It's time for a new phrase, a new phase. <laughs> It's time for a new phase. Maybe it is time for a new phrase. What kind of phrase? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. And your divine maskings are preparing for union right now. Taking that next step. Taking that next step. Told you that they're gonna hide. They're gonna hide. They're gonna hide. Look at this. They're from running from the deception. Running from the deception. Because just like I said, that the angel said they deserve better. They deserve to be loved. Your divine masculines deserve better than people. Who are hiding behind them, talking behind them, making them feel small, deceiving them. And they're not going to make their intentions clear when they're moving towards the Divine Feminine. Yeah, baby, told ya. They're planning. They're planning for that commitment. 
Congratulations, Divine Masculines, for standing and being in your power. For being who you are. And letting everybody know who you are. Yeah, for not taking bullcrap from anybody. Standing up. Standing up. See, that's what was keeping them stuck right there. The deception and the people stabbing them in their back but they're gonna move on to a brand new beginning they're gonna move on to a brand new beginning that's what it left them in with dark thoughts negative thoughts negative emotions about themselves feeling like they're not worth anything And that's why they had to be shown that they deserve better. They deserve to be loved. Oh my gosh. That card flew all the way. Whew. Look at all this negative energy. Look at all that negative energy. Fear. Feeling of lack. Wow, that's what kept them stuck all this time. Fear. Fearing that they're not good enough. So they remained where they were comfortable because at least they were somewhere. They were already living a lie. So they remained where they were comfortable. But it was because of fear, negative energy. Feeling like they're not good enough. But they're standing up. They're standing up. They're going through that rabbit hole. And they're transforming. It's a change. Oh, it's a change. They're working on that transformation. The cycle has been completed. It's a change. It's a cycle that they should have gone through and nobody could have stopped it. So we can't fight against God's wishes, divine feminines. If the divine masculines had to go away to heal and learn, they had to go away to heal and learn. And if they had to go away to learn and heal, then you had to do the same. They're staying optimistic now. Now they have that positive energy within them. Now they're having that positive energy that there's somebody new for them. Other than that. And this new person that they met is the one for them. Communication coming in. <laughs> There are a lot of people here who made your masculine feel insufficient. Feeling like they're not like they were not good enough. Some of your masculine didn't even love themselves because of the way these people made them feel dependent. Like nothing could happen for them if it weren't for those people. But your divine masculine broke free. Your passion helped them to break free. Because all they could think of, all they could see was you, divine feminine. And how much you changed their life. How much you made them stand in their, in, in their power. Being courageous. Taking a stand. Taking a stand. And your divine masculines are feeling that happiness. They're feeling that happiness and they're moving forward. And they're going to take that leap of faith and make that romantic gesture. Express your love, 2929. That's 1111. As I'm talking about this, 1111. They're going to come towards you and make that romantic gesture. Your divine masculines were shown all these red flags. 
they were shown all these red flags. They had to be guided because they couldn't do it on their own. And they learned to love themselves first. They learned to love themselves first. All right, tell me what, what's in the future here. What can you tell me what's in the future for the masculines? What's coming for the masculines or what are their plans? The tower. This is happiness, success right here. Their future is filled with joy. There is no clouds there. They're completing that cycle. They're completing that cycle. They're going to tear things down. Wow. Wow. Ten of wands, nine of wands. Mm -hmm. They're going to tear down their past and their future. This is all a dream. <laughs> See, I told you they thought that what they were seeing was a dream. Three, one, one, one. But it was God and the angels guiding them on their path. To transform. So this new love that they are going to move towards is a divine feminine. Oh shit, yes. It's a divine feminine. It's a divine feminine. Oh, and that ten of cups. That's that commitment. That's the long and happy life that your divine masculines wanted. That they are heading towards. That they know is coming. That they know that they deserve. And they're not going to hold back. Because they were guided. They were guided on this path. Angel therapy. Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. I'm, guys, if you can just see what I'm seeing here. Where these masculines, they were being led on this path by an angel, just walking and talking. And the same thing the angels were saying to the masculines, give your cares to us. We will take care of everything. 32, 32. You just do you. Regain your strength. Regain your power. Remember who you are and move towards your divine feminine. And then you'll have your victory. That's your prize, divine masculine, the divine feminine. That's your prize for completing all of this here, for going through all of that there, <laughs> for healing your wounds, for loving yourself. That's your prize. That's your prize. They're paying attention to their feelings and they know that it's real. And they know that they're being guided by God so there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Look at this. Take a deep breath. Exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So cut off the old. Stop doing what you're used to doing. Stop pleasing people. Start pleasing yourself. Start loving yourself. And what did I tell you that the angels said to these divine masculines? To take back their power. Remember who they are. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. These divine masculines have manifested this and her. Taking that deep, deep breath, right? Getting that fresh air. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So just as how these masculines were taking a walk with the angels, Getting those new ideas, divine, the angels showing the divine masculines the next step to take, where to go, what to do, assuring them. Hmm. Hello from heaven, of course. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feed their loving blessings. 
Some of these divine masculines were being held back because they were thinking about what would someone say if they should make a certain move. But here, they're being assured that they're doing fine. And they approve. And they're also even helping the divine masculines on their journey. So they should just let it go and do them. Your Divine Masculines are feeling very much rich in love right now because they know that what they are getting is their prize. Knowing that they have done something good, that's their reward for being them, for loving themselves and they're very happy with their prize. They're also learning to love themselves, being gentle with themselves, not allowing people to cast shadows on them to make them feel insecure. But they're loving themselves. 3553. Reflection. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. And don't forget to watch the video. I think it's going to be here. That's your next one. Take care of yourself, guys. Love you all. Later.